everybody and welcome back to the Traction Channel for the third episode of our Toka Race Driver 3 World Tour playthrough. I am loving this series so far, it is so fun to relive this old game. All the old cutscenes, the old championships, the old physics, the everything about it is just bringing back a lot of good memories for me and I hope it's doing the same for you guys too. So in the last episode we managed to get our first proper circuit racing win in the Caterham Challenge. Hopefully we'll have more of the same today but there's going to be a few different types of disciplines that we're going to be able to choose from so that's going to be good fun. You got a face like a bulldog chewing a wasp. I'm gonna bend your ear. Don't let me down this time, son. <laughs> I'm actually gonna start off um, by going back and watching some of the cutscenes from the earlier tiers that I didn't watch because I think the cutscenes are quite entertaining. Um, so just in case there's any gems that I've missed, I'm just gonna go back through and watch some of these. This is one of the primary examples of a Japanese sports car. That is a beautiful she car, by the way. She got to 60 in under five seconds. And with superb aerodynamics and high speed stability, a top speed of over 170 mile an hour. Blow the hammer, this little lady, she becomes a bit of a handful. Evolution 4, four wheel drive, loads of grip, quick off the mark and easy to drive. Every boy racer's dream. You're not wrong about that. This is what we're going to start with today is tier six. We have the British GT, GT Cup, We've got 1930s Vintage Grand Prix and we've got the US Speed Truck Challenge. Slipstreaming is fundamental to oval racing, but you have to be careful not to carry too much speed into the corners, otherwise it will send you into a wall. Oh. Pretty dangerous where you're standing there, Rick. Setup setup is incredibly important. And special attention has to be paid to the tyre camber and toe, and smooth, deliberate steering will ensure maximum speed around the high bank turns. There's no margin for error. A single mistake will almost certainly send you out of the race. Look at this poor guy. It's pretty brutal. He was quite brave there to just laugh off of almost getting hit by a wheel. Oh! Okay, so out of the three of these, I think they're all pretty cool and they're all a bit different. I am going to have to go with the British GT, GT Cup because I just love these cars so much. Um, the speed truck stuff, I'm sure we'll get more oval opportunities later on and probably more vintage stuff as well, so let's just go British GT. So this is cool, we've got multi-class racing in this game, you've got Cup and the NGT cars. I would love there to be a modern day game made based on these cars because I think this is just awesome. You can see in the Cup class, which is the kind of lower of the two, you've got the Vauxhall VX220, Marcus Mantis and Morgan, the Noble M12. I love the Noble M12. That was such a classic car. One of my favourites of all time. I think it'll be. I think it's going to be a future classic for sure. Then we've got the NGT class, which is the Ultima, the TVR, a Mosler, a Vauxhall Monaro, and the Corvette C5R. Ah, oh, so good. Could you imagine a modern day game with these classes of British GT racing in them? I think it would just be absolutely mega. We've got three laps Darnton, then we've got three laps of Mondello, and three laps of Snerton. This might be challenging. I have a feeling this one is going to be my toughest challenge yet because I don't know the Mondello circuit, and that's going to be quite tough to just jump in. But we'll see how the, the AI act and how the handling is. Right, let's do it. Rolling start, we've got the VX220 behind us. Pretty aggressive start. This camera shake is very intense. Oh, drifting it. It actually handles okay. Second place in the class just up ahead. Oh, the leader's gone off, is it? No, that's actually one of the the uh, higher class cars that have gone off. Oh, oh, that's P2 though. I'm gonna change the camera angle because the wobble was doing my head in. Where's the leader? Didn't know you were still there, mate. Sorry. Where's the class leader? Like, they've absolutely taken off. I think that's the Morgan up ahead. No need to worry about the car in front. He's in a different race class. Yeah, I know that. And, and he's also a terrible driver, by the looks of it. Absolutely no chance of catching the leader. Way too fast. So it's all about hanging on to P2 for the championship points. Nice through old hairpin. Made a bit of a gap now. And that's an easy P2. Nowhere near P1, but we'll take it. Good job. So you can see there, Allers was eight seconds ahead. Yeesh. 
I've actually already forgotten what we need to finish. Finish fourth or above, right? So there's only five cars in the class. So we just need to not finish last, and we should be fine. Jumping straight into Mondello now. Target, I guess, is just to follow the AI and not finish last. Oh, hello, Mosler. Okay, we've actually done an undercut there and taken the lead. Okay, I'm not, I wasn't expecting to be leading, but here we are. Oof. See you later. Oh, the VX220 is up in the fight as well. Okay, the, the handling model does make more sense when you drive in Swingman. Okay, I'm hanging on to the lead. I'm just using the map in the bottom left to kind of remember my way around the track, but it's fairly straightforward. A lot of slow speed corners, which is, works quite well because you can just brake when you feel comfortable and then get around them. You don't really need to know it that well. The car ahead is a different race class. You're not competing against him today. I know, Rick. Hold the inside line. Block him off in the exit. This is just a defensive drive now. Nice drift. Oh, one of the cup cars has gone off ahead. It's the Mosler once again. It's nice to see the, the AI do make mistakes. I think we might be able to win this race. Oh, no. No. The Morgan's got me again. Where's the Morgan come from? It seems to be quicker than everyone else. Oh, the VX220's gone off. No. I almost want them to win. So the Morgan has just taken off again. So it's clearly got the pace over everyone else. I'm just sideways. Everywhere. But we're holding on to P2. Yeah, two second places should pretty much guarantee the top four, I would have thought. So 16 points. And then 12, 10, and 8. So we're only six points out of fourth, but I think that'll be fine. Snetterton to finish off the championship then. Let's give it a go. Oh, hello. Okay, P3 at the start. Try and remember the old Snetterton. It wasn't a hairpin, it was a 90 degree right. And run to the back straight. I love this version of Snetterton. Can I say that right now? Okay, past the beautiful Noble. I love you. Well, this is, of course, the old final chicane as well. Forgot about this. This is so much nicer than the current corner. Okay, we're at solid P2, and guess who's leading? It's the bloody Morgan. I wonder if that's, like, an AI thing? Um, in terms of, like, they've just that particular one has just been designated to be the quickest? or whether that's a Morgan specific thing. Like, is the Morgan that much faster than the rest of them? If I was to drive the Morgan, would I be going that much quicker? It's gonna be a third consecutive second place behind the Morgan, but that's easily gonna get us through to the next tier of the World Tour. All right, get into the next championship. Come on in and we'll see what's next. What's next? Oh, nice. So we've actually got another British GT one, which is the GT Cup. I'm assuming that's like the higher class. We've got For Formula Palmer Audi, and we've got the, the Baja Buggy Kit Car Cup. The Palmer Audi is fitted with a boost button, which instantly raises the turbo's pressure. Ooh. To deliver an extra 60 brake. The turbo lasts for six seconds, and each vehicle has only got eight shots. And if you change gear during the boost, all the power will be dumped. Okay. So we've basically got like a push to pass. Okay, so it looks like there was only one cutscene for those ones. Uh, the Formula Palmer Audi looks pretty cool with the boost. Um, the buggy kit car cup would be good fun as well. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to, to go for the Formula Palmer Audi on this occasion. So in this one, we've got to finish third or above in the championship. We've got three races. We've got Brands Hatch GP for the first time. We've got Norris Ring and we've got the Full Zanvert. So this is this is a proper championship now. This is where it begins to get interesting. This car, These cars are 275 brake horsepower, but obviously with the boost button, it, it increases it to 325. So yeah, they're 
fairly powerful compared to the Formula Jedi, at least, anyway. Got the BAR Formula Palmer Audi in front of us. Okay, so eight boosts means roughly two or three per lap. Go for the kind of cockpit view. That's not really. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use a boost now. Oh my god, the sound. <laughs> it definitely lets you know when you're on boost. Don't forget to make use of the overboost in this race. Let's try it now. That oh, didn't work. That was recharging, that's why. We'll use it in fifth gear. Nice move. These cars handle okay though. There we go. Right, come on. Up into the inside into P6 with a boost. Yes, nice. P6. This is quite an intense race actually, I'm enjoying this one. Down the inside. Oh, hey Kempson. Thank you for getting out of my way. <laughs> Up into P4. Let's use the boost here just to give us a little burst. Probably wasn't the best use of it. Oh, I forgot about the old Dingledale. Can we make an inside move here? Oh, he blocked me off a wee bit. I've only got one boost left. I probably should have saved it for the pit straight, to be honest. You're close to the race leaders. Keep going. I've not been using it very efficiently, so I kind of need to improve on that. I think we'll still get down the inside into Paddock Hill. Yes. No! He's still there! What a, <laughs> what a defensive manoeuvre on the outside. We'll send one into the hairpin. Got a car on our inside as well. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right, it doesn't look like we're going to catch second, so I'm just going to save the boost for if I have to defend. He's right on my... He's right on my back, but we've held on for P3, so that's going to be a good start to the championship. Nice one. Third place on the podium. Wow, you really showed them this time, son. So first place was Drayson for the Oxford Children's Hospital, and then Crucial Trading's Brewer second with myself in third. Next up we have Norris Ring. I love this track. This is going to be awesome and also terrifying. Let's do it. We've got Julian Palmer in the car ahead. That's pretty, pretty cool. Save my boost a wee bit. There's three laps, but there's a lot of big straights in the Norris Ring, so let's save them for when we need them towards the end. At the start, I think it's just a case of making moves in the braking zones. Beautiful. Up to P10. I think I'm in Maria Di Velotta's car, actually. I saw Di Velotta on the side of it before. I'll take that one. Thank you. Let's try it there. Nice acceleration off the corner. I think that's worked quite well. And now it's a slipstream battle down the pit straight. We'll tuck in behind Brewer. Let's use it again there, double boost. Uh, there's the guy in the white car, was our ne nemesis in the last race. Try running outside. I seem to definitely be able to make my moves in the AI in braking zones. I think we should really save it for fifth gear. Side by side in the braking zone. Try the undercut. Oh, it's worked. A normal human racing move has actually worked in this game. I am shocked. Yeah, easy win in race two. Norris ring's so wide and open, you can just make those moves stick. I won't, Rick, I promise. That's it for race two. Take the win. Moves us probably up into the top two in the championship, and we're looking good for a promotion. So it actually puts us in the lead of the championship on 42 points, out of Drayson and Brewer. Should be fairly easy, we've just got to survive this last race of Zanvert, and I think that's the last one, is it? Yeah, and then we'll be good to go. Old Zanvert in this game is going to be good fun, I think. Again, I'm going to save my boosts a little bit, try and be a little bit more careful with them than I was at Brands Hatch. As long as I finish this race safely, though, I've got not too much to worry about. Ooh, it's close. 
Let's use, a, use the boost in third gear because it's a bit longer than fourth. And it gets us the power earlier on so we carry more speed in the, for the rest of the straight. It's quite a good idea, I think. Up to P7, onto the onto the other shorter version of Zanvert. Try and go through the middle of these guys. No. Guy down the inside of me. Sorry. My front wings remained intact. Probably should have used it there. I've got the chicane still. Yeah. Ooh, the AI are racing a little bit more smart on this track. Not on the exit, though. I definitely feel like I'm getting more of a handle on this game's uh, driving physics. Nice boost there. We're going to get the run on both of these guys, I think. Still side by side. Give them the room. Jump to the inside for this corner. Somehow damaged my suspension there, but not in the collision earlier. <laughs> Okay, we're P4, we're we'll see if we can close in in the top three in the last lap. I think we can. Just go for it, son. It's your last lap. I'll try, Dad. It's been a good last lap so far. Closing the gap a wee bit, I just don't know if it's going to be enough. I'm actually concentrating now. This is... First time I've actually felt like I'm driving a proper racing sim. <laughs> These cars are, are pretty intuitive, actually. They're quite nice. Oh, we're going to be so close to that battle. I just don't think I'm going to be close enough. Use the boost early so we can get the acceleration. I think that was a good decision. But is it going to be enough? I don't think it's going to be enough. Ah, uh, it's going to be P4. Damn. All right. You're into the next championship. Come on in and we'll see what's next. That's a bit of a shame, but hey-ho. It doesn't really make a difference in the end, does it? We've got through Formula Palmer Audi. Fourth place in the race. So, uh, yeah, you can see the. this is definitely officially licensed because you've got Diva Lotta there in P2. Um, and then we have the likes of... Julian Palmer finishing 7th, so yeah, it's, it's all, all real drivers in, the, in these series as well, which is really cool. But I've taken a championship win by two points from Brewer and Drayson not far behind in 3rd, so it was a pretty close call in the end, and that, that was a really good fun competitive one as well. But the main thing is, we move on. And that's unlocked us Tier 8, we've got a Rallycross Championship in Old Alpines, we've got another British GT one, and then we've got International Rallycross in the Clio V6s, oh, so much fun to pick one of those ones we're gonna have to have a look in the next episode so that's gonna be it for this episode guys thank you so much for watching as always if you're enjoying the series make sure you leave us a like and leave us a comment as to what you're enjoying the most about it what you'd like to see more of in the future make sure you subscribe to the traction channel as well for more racing game content like this whether it's old stuff new stuff or anything in the middle in the meantime guys keep it pinned thank you so much for watching and have a great day